What is up, Meraki? Welcome back to this week's uh, sales recap. Um, we've got a, our new special guest, Jacob Humphreys. <laughs> back from the dead. Back from the dead. One of the owners. We kicked Justin out and brought Jacob back in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, Justin's out of town this week. Uh, he's actually going back tomorrow, but he's just on a quick family unit over the weekend. So um, Jacob's going to fill in for him uh, on this video. Yeah, so. I'm excited to be back. Uh, it's uh, I'm usually stuck on the operations side of things, but uh, <laughs> but you know sales reps are the the reason why we do what we do, and so it's always fun. I like jump at every every opportunity I can to to be a part of this because you guys are the ones that you know really push the company forward. You're the ones that are you know driving the economy forward. So yeah. glad to be here. It's awesome. So last week uh, did did pretty dang good. We had 138 closes last week, which is uh, obviously a little bit less than we did the week before, but we also um, it was a solid week, you know. I think it was like our third, third best week ever. So I mean, just like four weeks ago, we were saying 100 was the benchmark. Yeah, 130. It's like oh, a little below the benchmark, but it's so really good. Definitely had a solid week. Um, I know sales kind of dropped a little bit over the weekend with the shooting that happened in El Paso. So yeah, obviously our hearts go out to everyone affected there, um, and we're glad to say that no one in our group and in Meraki was directly affected, as far as we know. Um, and hopefully that that is the case. So if there was anyone's families affected by that, um, like like I said, our hearts go out to you, and uh, we hope hope the best for the future. So, um, anyways, from this last week sales wise, we've got uh, our top twenty changes. We had a, about eleven changes happen. So we had awesome. Andre Carbajal is new to the top twenty. He's in twentieth place. So just got in there, which is awesome. Uh, Jessica Higgins moved up five spaces to be in fifteenth place. So super good Heck job. Yeah. Uh, Brittany Barrero is new to the top 20, and she is on met, uh, immediately in 14th place. That was a good jump. Uh, Aaron Ellison is back on the board. He's in 13th place. Uh, Maria Valenzuela is in the top 20 again in 12th place. And he sees Sauce moved up four places, uh, spaces to be in 11th place, so he's getting close to that top 10. I know, he uh, wants it. Yeah, he does. Cesar Macias is new to the top 20, and he is in ninth place. Right he's just coming out of nowhere. Last two weeks, he's got so many closes. Just, just... Really impressive, so super good, super good job. Uh, Vincent Montez is also new to the top 20 and in eighth place. Those two going back. These guys back. came out of nowhere. Uh, Cedro Vasquez moved up four to be in sixth place, made some huge jumps. Almost, Holy cow. almost fit, almost He's top almost five. In the top five, just jumped there, that's awesome. And then uh, Noah Weiner finally Breaks made it to the top it. five. But he moved up three spaces to be in fourth place in the company now. So I know Noah had a big week this last week. Super good job. He's been working hard, yeah. yeah. That was Shout a beast. Out. Yeah, it's awesome. Beast. And then Mario Prowl, like I said at the beginning, moved up a space. He's in second place now. You know, let's really hi highlight the top three guys. Those guys work extremely hard. We got Hazio in first place. We got Mario in second now and Aaron Sandoval in third. All those guys just work extremely hard. Yeah. Followed by Noah now in fourth. Noah now, so. yeah. Super good job with those guys. Uh, super impressive. It's also kind of nice to, nice to see that they're kind of spread out across the country as well. Yeah. You know, uh, we get some good competition it's going. It's cool. It's awesome. So moving into the people that had two or more closes last week, we had 32 people with two or more closes. Um, and a lot of these guys had a lot of closes. So we'll start at the bottom with Aaron Sandoval with two closes, Albert, uh, Alberto Gonzalez with two closes, and uh, Angel of Valdez, some of these are new names, so sorry if I mess them up. Bernice Diaz, Brittany Barrero, Chris Meredith, Gabriel Flores Jr., Isidro Vasquez, Jacob Sanchez, Joseph Kenny, Juan Mendoza, Julio Lopez, Miguel Valenz uh, Velasquez, uh, Normando Bustamante, Roland Rios, Ruben Huerta, Victor Alfonso Hernandez, Victoria Romo. That'll, that'll close it for our people with two closes. That's really nice. good. Good Man, right there. So many people. Yeah, no, just so many. And new faces, too. Just yeah. new people coming in and getting two closes. High quality reps. So, well, when and anybody yeah. that can maintain two closes a week, you know, I mean, that's that's Meraki lifestyle right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meraki lifestyle. So, moving on to three closes in the week, we got Aaron Eliasson. Um, and then next, we have Carlos Sandoval. Um, is that Aaron Sandoval's brother or something? I don't know. Well, <laughs> well maybe we'll find out a new name. Uh, Cesar Macias, he had three. Miguel Huizar, Tyler Gillespie. Um, and then moving into people with four, we had four people with four closes, so that's oh amazing. Oh my gosh. Enrique Torres, Jose Enriquez. Hey, we just talked about oh. Jose last week. Jose Enriquez Jose. closes last four week? closes. 
That's yeah. a joke. Wow, he's, nice been job. With, he's been with us a long time, so. And I don't think we've seen that before. No, that's a personal best, I think, so. Nice work. Mario Ferreira with four, and Miguel Gonzalez with four. So, Mario with four, that's pretty good. Pazzi Alejandro Yu with five. Not in the top three, actually. So <laughs> with people, five. Yeah, I know. <laughs> people are catching up on him. Still a good week. <laughs> Super good. And then moving into our top three, all tied with six. We have Maria Valenzuela, Noah Weiner, and Vincent Montez. That so, is amazing. That's just crazy. Three people with six closes last week. <laughs> you can't even make it into the top three without getting at least six in a week. That is phenomenal. Super Stop. good job. Shout out to all those guys who made that list. Heck Huge yeah. week, for sure. Week. Um, as far as lo- for the month of July, I wanted to highlight um, all reps with over 10 closes for the month, which is pretty good. That's a lot. That's a good, good accomplishment. If your over name's on here, over a good freaking job. So um, starting off with reps who had 10 closes for last month, for the, for the month of July, we had Angel um, Magallanes. I don't know. Hopefully that's how you say it. Um, Eddie Sanchez and Juan Mendoza, all with ten closes for the month. Uh, Brittany Guerrero, who is you know, is it? She's one of the new names in the top twenty, right? Yeah, yeah. Jump right up to fourteenth place, killing it. Had eleven, um, along with Miguel Gonzalez. Uh, he had eleven closes as well, um, with thirteen closes. Cedrio uh, Vasquez had thirteen, and Vincent Montes had fourteen. So. Dang. I know both of them. Really good months right there. Um, Jesus Marostro, reigning you know uh, summer games champion from last year, had 15 killer month. Heck yeah. Um, Aaron Sandoval had 18. And that's moving into a new office. Still getting 18. I mean, that's over a three CW. Yeah. We've got offices that are <laughs> doing that are 18. that are doing 18. You know what I mean? So. Killer job, Aaron. He's just crushing it. Oh, that's it over there. a 4CW. Yeah, that's over a 4CW. Over a 4CW. Wow. Just destroying it. Any guys up here, just crazy good. Yeah. So, second most closes for the month of July, we had Mario Ferreira with 27. And then Javier Alejandro Yu with 32 closes he for said, the month of July. I closed a deal every single day and more this month. Oh and he did? <laughs> 32 closes for the month. Hats off. Hats, Hats off. Hats off. off. Guys. Amazing. That is amazing. Super awesome job. So we wanted to run through the lifestyle trades from this last week briefly. Um, uh, just some shout outs to some of the top reps there who are really, you know, standing out as far as living those Meraki core values. Um, let me start with, uh, with Colorado. So I wanted to nominate Aaron Sandoval uh, for the growth attribute. He's always pushing for more with the guys. He's working to keep them engaged. Constantly is coming up with ways to either get more sales or get more guys into the office. He's very focused on Colorado, but he's also looking uh, for the future on where they're going to open the next office in that Colorado market. So, Heck yeah. I mean, really encourages guys to get out of their comfort zone and sell more passionately. And I know that, uh, you know, like a lot of others, he works like a maniac. You know, he just puts in the time and he is really gunning for growth, especially right now with his brand new office. He's showing it, obviously. Yeah. In a brand new office with 18 deals, killing it. So that's Colorado. Congrats, Aaron Sandoval. Helen McCallan, we've got Angel Magallanes getting a shout out. Um, he just moved to McCallan looking for growth and better opportunities. Uh, he is super motivated and willing to help others. Even though uh, he's fairly new to the market, he's still out there you know, trying to, trying to get in and, and help people do better. So his excitement is contagious and uh, he loves you know, living by the Meraki lifestyle traits. So Heck yeah, super good job. <clears throat> and then we got... Um, from the El Paso, is that uh, West? El Paso West office, we've got Cesar Macias. Um, he is a great leader and he's achieving his team goals. Um, he's trying to take the, the Lions to victory. I think they're running, a, they're running a team competition there and it's on August 15th. So, super good job. Um, he's showing some really good growth. Oh, he's showing some good numbers too. He yep. had three last week. Killing it. Heck yeah. Yep. Um, and then we've got from the East office, Andres Carvajal. Uh, Casillas actually shouted him out specifically and mm-hmm. said that he just he spent he's on top of everything. He's super consistent in his closes and he's always looking for ways he can help and people he can help uh, specifically help them grow. So he's always helping to help, looking to help the kind of the underdog, you know, get back on track or improve their skills a little bit. So he's really helping. You get, you get. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and exactly. obviously we can see that. He just moved into twentieth place on our top twenty in the whole company. So. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, obviously, he's consistent. Exactly. So, so which at our rate, rate of growth, I mean, the top twenty. I mean, it'd be one thing if we had fifty reps, but when we're get when we got hundreds of reps, like top twenty, that's yeah, really impressive. Like top twenty, super out of, impressive out of like five hundred guys. So yeah, impressive. Yeah, cream of the crop. So in, uh, in the Destin office, we got Stevens Lemoyne and Ray McFadden. They're both new guys and super excited about Meraki, and, and they've already been recruiting. So brand new and already spreading the word because they can see the potential. Um, they're all about helping Meraki grow while they grow themselves and obviously get better at, at this. So good shout out to those guys. And then um, we've got uh, Mr. Sanchez nominated Scott Sobel, Sobel? Sobel uh, for not allowing language barriers to stop him from growing. He is actually using Google Translate to communicate with homeowners and potential prospects. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, he's, dude, that's the, that's... He is seeing the vision and he's getting it, no matter what. I'm not letting anything stop him, so yeah, I'm going to awesome. do this. Yeah, super awesome. Uh, I think that's all that I've got. Uh, obviously, there's a couple offices that weren't mentioned there, and we'll get you guys next week. Um, but super shout out to everybody. And uh, to wrap up this video, we wanted to show our final four a uh, highlight reel for the Meraki Games. Summer Games. Yeah, for the Meraki Summer Games. So for the Grand Master category, the top four guys had a personal interview with our uh, in-house videographer and uh, got to share a little bit about what their experience is and some tips. So I um, wanted to roll that and just remind everyone this is, this is the last week of the Summer Games. Last week. So last week of the Summer Games. Mark's going to be posting every day on status updates so everyone knows where they're falling. Um, but this is last week to get out there and crush to be the Meraki Games Summer Champion is your division. Champion for a whole year. You get up for the whole year. Yep. Super awesome. Let's have a big week. How you doing, guys? My name is uh, Alex Yu. I work in El Paso West office. I'm one of the flow head managers. Um, the reason of my success is because I'm working super hard from nine to nine. I work my referrals all the time. I work to try to help the families here in El Paso to save money on it. I love making money. The reason of my success behind it's my family, my two daughters, and actually a new baby that is coming. Okay, so how does it feel to be number one in Meraki? It feels great. Um, I love it, and I will continue to grow until I become one of the new owners of this Meraki lifestyle. How do I feel about the Meraki games? Last round, I already feel like a champion. That's it, baby. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Mario. I'm the district manager from El Paso West. I'm super excited about the Meraki Games this third round. What has been working for me, it's going back with the customers, with the previous customers, asking for referrals, follow-up, customer service. That's the key. That's where the money is at. So I'm super excited. We're going to kill it, and uh, I want to win the first place. Let's, let's go, guys. We can do it. The thing for me to succeed in this business is the training that I received in the El Paso market. Um, the hustle, the persistency, having the discipline to knock every day for a minimum of at least six to seven hours, following up with your customers and believing in what we're doing. What drives me to compete at the highest level, it's real simple for me. It's my three girls, my wife and my two daughters. I've been in sales for 15, 16 years, and this is the first place that I actually feel that I'm at my best. Um, Meraki has some of the best sales, sales consultants that I've ever have been around. And it's one thing that um, I like to push myself. I'm very competitive and the bar is, I was raised very, very high. That's so great for me for my fulfillment of being the, the best that I can be. So I'm very fortunate that this place pushes me more than anyone, any other place because of the people around it. I'm very fortunate to be a part of the top four um, in my division. Meraki Games, let's go kill it guys. Hello, my name is Jesus Brigham Buenrostro from uh, um, East Office. I'm one of the district managers here. Uh, and my experience on the Meraki Games, it's been amazing. It's something that uh, it's gets, it gets me motivated to, to be the number one again. But honestly, I know there's a lot of competition. I know uh, Mr. Yu, I know Chicha, I know uh, Aaron Sandoval, those guys are best, right? So this is for me like uh, um, something, something that, I, uh, that pushed me to be the number one again. And uh, it's not about the prices, it's not about the money that you're gonna win on, the, on these competitions, it's the pride to be the number one again, right? So yeah, Meraki Games, this is gonna be exciting and I love it, thank you.